says, have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to capture me? Day after day, I was with you in the temple teaching you, and you did not seize me. I want you to notice what Jesus is doing here. Jesus is in this moment pointing out the injustice that's happening to him. He is pointing it out plainly. You know, that they could have, he's pointing out the fact that you could have arrested me in the daytime when everybody was looking. You, you could have done, I was in the temple, I was out in a public space. You could have done this then, but you have chosen to do your dirty work at night where no one can see. And Jesus is pointing this out. And I want you to notice also Jesus didn't just point out the time they did it. He also pointed out the way they did it. You know, wooden staffs and lances were the ordinary weapons used to make arrests. But clubs and swords were used to brutalize a crowd or arrest a violent criminal or insurrectionist. And so what Jesus says, and I want you to notice what Jesus is doing. Jesus points out the weapons. He said, you came out with swords and clubs. And so what Jesus is doing is not just pointing out injustice. Jesus is pointing out the disproportionate use of force. He said, you came out here and you started shooting before you started asking questions. He said, you came out here with an AR-15. You, you came out uh, with a disproportionate use of force against me. And Jesus names it. He names it that way in the Garden of Gethsemane. And if it ain't in the Bible, you should, it's right here in the Bible. I'm not making this up. I, 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 I'm not making this up. Jesus put this in the Bible. Jesus said it. He pointed out the disproportionate use of force as a form of injustice. Beloved, how can we claim to be light if we won't speak up in the face of darkness? How can we claim to be salt if we won't speak up in the face of moral decay? Do you know that Jesus cares deeply about injustice and about speaking up in the face of injustice? Did you know that the Bible mentions justice over 143 times? In Proverbs 31, 8 and 9 says this, Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. For the rights of all, not just some, not just those that we are connected with, not just those that we love in our, in our personal group, all who are destitute. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and needy, what the Bible says. Micah 6 and 8 says, he has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? What does the Lord require of you, Koinonia? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. And so when injustice came his way, the Son of God speaks up about the disproportionate use of force. And the least we could do as God's people is follow the example of our Lord and speak up about the disproportionate use of force when we see it. Amen. Amen. Come on, Amadou Diallo. Kill while carrying a wallet. Eric Garner, kill while carrying cigarettes. Trayvon Martin, kill while carrying Skittles and tea. Tamir Rice, kill while carrying a toy gun. Philando Castile, kill while carrying a gun, a gun permit and a license. Botham Jean, kill while carrying a bowl of ice cream. George Floyd, kill while carrying $20. And Dante Wright killed while carrying air fresheners. The disproportionate use of force was not just an issue of the first century, but it's an issue in our land today. And if we, listen, listen, and, and, and although there are some people that will tell you that these are just social issues with which the gospel has no real concern, as long as we see the Son of God speaking up about the disproportionate use of force in the Bible, then we ought to speak up about it as well. Amen.